it's like a, a stitch in your sadness and your hardship and everything to this pattern. I'm caring for my son and he's 11 years old. Um, and I started caring for him since he was two years old. He was diagnosed with um, general global delay since he was two years old and uh, I found out when uh, he couldn't speak properly. He started very late and it was a bit concerned for me what is wrong with him, why he doesn't speak. Uh, that was the reason I took him to the doctors. It's been almost nine years looking after him, which uh, from a year ago, it became a bit easier for me because he's more independent now and he can do lots of things by himself. It doesn't mean I put the caring role aside and not doing anything, but it's much easier now after these years. Beside being a single parent, uh, being by your own, doing everything any mother or father do by your own, plus doing some extra things um, for the person you are caring for, plus putting your life on pause, uh, I mean your personal life, your own life on pause and stop everything you love to do. Um, because of the caring role you have, it means a lot of job. And that's why, and also it's very rewarding. I really enjoyed what I did in my life, and I'm proud of what I did because it proved I'm very strong and I can do it. <laughs> it gave me a good feeling. I got support from government, from financial side of my caring role, it was enough to survive and I got lots of help from organizations, from carers group. Um, I was a member of, oh I, actually I am a member of carer group at ISHAR, Multicultural Center for Women's Health. I never knew I can get help for my son which I can go and have a break, uh, which they advised me of uh, organizations um, which provide respite care and uh, yeah they sent a um, couple of ladies very nice ladies to stay with my son all day 24 hours a day for three days which I can go and uh, attend that group and go for a short break which was yeah, very 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 helpful and I was very happy that was my first time having a break without my son If I was back in my country, I definitely had my family's love and support, um, minus government's <coughs> financial support. But here, um, I got financial support of government, minus my family's love and support. Um, I'm happy, I'm happy with um, what, with what they provide for me here, but I would, I would like to, as a carer, to say they could have done more. As a new um, arrival in Australia, you don't know any other services or any services you can get help from. It's good if they inform you. It's not something I have to go and look for it because I'm a new arrival here, I don't know where can I go and where can I turn to get help? It's good if the person who are, is dealing with you, like your doctor, your son's doctor, your daughter's uh, doctor, or any, anybody's uh, working in uh, government organizations, it's good if they inform everybody of what is available in here. I got all the 
um, treatments from my son through a state, a state child Develop development center, which there is a very long waiting list for it to get into that uh, organization and use the services. I was in waiting list for um, occupational therapy, for speech therapy, for um, psychologist. As a carer, um, your life is hard. Everybody knows that. But from the other hand, you can enjoy it because it's rewarding. You are doing something which not lots of people can do. That's the beauty of it. It shows you how strong you are. And I wanted to say, being a carer, it doesn't mean you have to stop everything and just look at the neg negative point. You can enjoy your life, you can enjoy your caring role, and also you can enjoy yourself being strong and go through everything, every, any hardship on your way. That's why I wanted to say it's not always negative point. You can look at the positive points too. Once I saw a tapestry um, in a shop and it just got my um, attention and I said, well, I give it a go and I bought one, I brought it home and I started doing it. And I found it's very, very easy to do actually, but you just need to be patient. I never knew anything about stitching needles, wools and stuff, but when I started doing that, that, I really loved it and it became my hobby. As soon as I got five, ten minutes of free time, I sit and do some stitches and needlework and I really enjoyed it. I could manage to uh, finish three tapestries in the last nine years and I really enjoyed it and in, I'm still doing it. And also I started collecting some pictures, frames and I became an interior designer, which I never imagined <laughs> doing something like this. <laughs>